Okay, so here we are. Melissa's is super excited, and so am I. Look it's at our new, beautiful. awesome, organized spice rack. It's great. I can't wait to get more. And then we'll have an actual functional kitchen. We've got some <laughs> fire cider here, which is some really intense... Powerful stuff. Hold on, hold on, hold on. The ingredients off to Let's you. Let's see. It's wait. Hold on. Stop moving because it's apple cider vinegar and honey tonic. Fire cider. So let me just read the ingredients to you. It's apple cider vinegar, honey, oranges, lemons, onions, ginger, horseradish, garlic, turmeric, habanero pepper. Oh my gosh. All right. This is the official <laughs> shot glass. Woo! Let's put a little bit in it. And we're going to drink it. And we don't often drink alcohol. And so, um... <laughs> Woo! You're so ridiculous this morning. Woo! What are you going to do? The hangover? Or are you going to do which one? I didn't even know that. Look at this. There's a daily dose. There's a winter daily dose. There's a cure hangover, a cure boredom, and a repel wolves. Let's go for the repel wolves. Repel wolves. <laughs> Let's go for the repel wolves. Oh, yeah. It's the intense one. Here we go. Are you going to really do that right now? Oh, my God. You're so ridiculous. All right, go ahead. Drink it up. Here we go. This is going to make me healthy. <laughs> that was dumb. <laughs> that was so good. Woo! We're cleaning, and we're in the middle of cleaning, and we're getting our inventory of what we need to get at the store, because we'll probably go to Trader Joe's and maybe Honest Weight, because they have um, some really nice bulk things, so that if you take your your stuff with you, like bags and jars and things, you can just refill it. We also have a veggie and fruit holder here that we just screwed to the wall. It's so exciting. Oh my gosh. It's really nice. We're putting some sweet potatoes into the first one. There's three different compartments and we are so excited. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Andrew apparently has an, a cough right now. <laughs> Check it out. Our herbs are all in there. Some hot sauce and stuff. Um... Our kitchen is reorganized a little bit. One day, one day, we'll be able to use our Vitamix. One day. And then we have our food in here. And it's like way more organized. We just washed all the dishes. This awesome Listen. new oil diffuser. This so we got so this cool. car oil it's, diffuser? The brand is A-I-H-O. And it's the best one that I've found that does the, the work the best like you can find other ones that have other bells and whistles this one diffuses the oil like a rock star you can change the different um colors, colors. on it there's um, a timer too yep you can have it on for 30 60 or 120 minutes you can change the light color it's so cool you can have blue oh my gosh set the mood to different chakras oh it's amazing yeah. so andrew and i every morning we well we're We've been trying to. We've we've done it most days. We forget, I think, two days maybe now. But anyway, for my birthday, my dear sister-in-law, Annabelle, she gave me this book for my birthday. It's called Believing in Myself, Daily Meditations for Healing and Building Self-Esteem. So we try to read it every day because it has a daily um, affirmation, I guess you can say. And today is Was March 19th. Yes, you should be going okay. that way. Today is March 19th. So let's see what it says. Right, Andrew? Yeah. And we have some people walking over here. That looks like Joanne and Chuck, actually. No, it's not them. Because it's not their dog. <laughs> All right, so March 19th. It takes 20 years to become an overnight success. Eddie Cantor. There are many kinds of success, of course. Career, financial, relational... Uh, relational spiritual each brings its own reward one kind of success gives us prestige another intimacy another money what they have in common is that 
is that all are sweet and none are accidents. Enjoying a positive self-esteem is surely one of life's greatest successes. How could it be otherwise? The quality of our lives is dictated by the quality of our self-esteem. To succeed in this arena means that we pay the same price that is paid for any other kind of success. We must work at it. We mustn't make quick judgments about how easy it was for others to overcome fear, doubt, complacency, and laziness. Whenever we see people who are serene and confident, we may be sure that we are looking at people who have paid their dues. Our success as theirs was, as theirs was, will be won by taking each day as it comes and doing the best we can with it. Self-esteem is worth the work of building it. So we're working on building it. We're working it.